Ben's my new friend. Hello, Clever. You're like um, just Dr. Loads, Doolittle, aren't loads you? and loads of love and no trauma with this one. Just cuddles it's and only strokes. Co presenters. <laughs> like that. Um, joining us now, Kennel Club Secretary Caroline Kisco. Um, and Caroline, you have Luna, the French bulldog. I do. Here. And Ben has uh, taken ownership of Clover, who's a cardigan corgi. Um, now, the French bulldog is insanely popular yeah. at the moment. It's, um, it's literally shot up in popularity. Yeah. Um, a few years ago, we were, we were registering around 900 puppies a year. It has gone up into the thousands now. It's 7,000 percent its increased price. Goodness it's man. mad. Is that a concern? Yes, it is. Big concern. Um, where in the UK we have some really responsible breeders who are making sure that they breed uh, dogs with good big open nostrils like Luna's got. Um, it, we're seeing from Central Europe we're getting puppy dealers who are just breeding anything to anything puppy farming and then the dealers bring them in and sell them to anybody. So what, what's the concern with this, uh, this breed breathing. then? You, that breathing. Breathing is a, a really big yeah. issue and unless they are bred with big yeah, wide nostrils, they have nostrils, to have properly say. open nostrils and a, and a reasonable length of muzzle so that they can breathe mm. properly and, and you can hear this, this, this dog is fine but when you, you get a dog that's bred badly and nobody cares too much, um, they're making a lot of money out of it, £3,000 a puppy. So it's very important if people are interested in getting a, a dog like that, yeah. that they, they pay attention to that. Yeah. On the other hand, the corgi I yeah. it, is considered to be, and I can't think why, because she's absolutely gorgeous, but yeah. considered to be vulnerable as a breed. Yes, the, we've, um, we've designated certain breeds as being vulnerable because their numbers have gone down so much. They've simply, simply fallen out of fashion. Um, so what we're trying to do is promote, especially at a show like Crufts, where you've got lots of opportunity to see the public, for the public to meet all these different breeds. Um, <laughs> Clover seems... She's a chatting. To, yeah, is she chatting She's looking she for upset? her mum. She's looking for her mum. Oh. Uh, Luna, Luna, come here. Where's your mum, Clover? Oh, hello, love. She's very sweet. They're a lovely breed, and it just seems such a shame that they're not more popular. It's interesting, isn't it? Because corgis are so popular with the with the no. queen. I mean, well, they as are, and of knows. course, when the queen first had them, they they had a huge boost in popularity. Although I will say, it wasn't this type of corgi, so there are two different types. Um, but having said that, hello, Clover, good girl. Um, th they have just lost popularity. And what we want people to do is to come to crafts. Go to the Discover yeah. Dogs area where you can see all of the breeds. Choose the right breed from them. Don't just go for a breed like the Frenchie because it's popular. Do you? Um, I know, I know. Oh, it's honestly, it's not going to be long, and then you can go and have something to eat <laughs> and a drink. Oh, you're She serious? says the same to me. Sweet. <laughs> as we go to the breaks. Um, does it frustrate you when celebrities all seem to congregate around mm. a certain type of dog? And well, the French Bulldog is one of those at the moment. Yeah, it, it's frustrating in as much as inadvertently they are making that breed very popular. Yeah. Yeah. So it, and I'm not blaming them for owning the breed, but people should take a much more proactive position in choosing the breed that they go for. So make sure you do your research yeah. properly. Don't buy a dog just because it's under the celebrity's arm. <laughs> She's Good so chat. Loving. She's settled in on my feet now. <laughs> She's like your foot warmer. There you go. Perfect little foot oh, warmer. Oh, well, it's absolutely delightful to see them both. I can't. I mean, it's you know, it's just it's just trends, isn't it? it because is. actually, they're both it absolutely is. adorable yeah. dogs. Yeah. And, and this this applies to a lot of the old British breeds, where you know breeds like the Bloodhound, the Fox Terrier. You know, they're all they're all breeds that people have owned for years, yeah. but actually their numbers have dropped it's hugely. It's down to us. We just interview you all morning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I call it therapeutic <laughs> Thursday, and frankly, this it is, is just, you know, this is like therapy. How and the interesting thing is, is, isn't it? Both Clover and Luna and the names of the dogs on this morning as well that we've had as they've been doing their training. So we have a thing with an affinity on yeah. ITV Daytime oh, with Clovers and Lunas, and they're both gorgeous. Thank you for oh, yeah. coming in. Oh, thank you.